the End is the eighth and final album from the iconic group The Cranberries. It's a celebration and testimony to the life and creative work of lead singer Dolores O'Riordan, who died on January 15th, 2018. And I guess the hardest part for us was we were getting ready to go in and record this album. Um, we kind of all the demos had been done so that, that the next phase is to actually get in and do it. So she was very, very excited about that. Um, mm -hmm. And like literally a day or two before speaking to her um, about the, the plans for the future. So to get that call on a Monday morning, it was the most unexpected thing. Like there's never a good time, but I mean, we certainly didn't see it coming. It was a short time after her tragic death that the Cranberries realized they had enough material for an album, and they spoke with O'Riordan's family on whether they should proceed with the project. Maybe about a month or so later, we kind of started listening through just to see. We didn't even realize how many songs were there. We kind of thought, OK, there might be enough for an EP, maybe. Mm -hmm. So once we listened to them and realized how strong the Dolores' vocal was and the lyrics were great and, and everything, we kind of said, you know, it, it might be worth finishing these. So we spoke to Dolores' mom and her brothers and stuff and said, you know, how would you feel if we continued the work? And they were kind of relieved almost. You know, they said it would be great because they knew that she was really looking forward to this, this album. Working on the album also helped the band cope with their own sense of loss with her death. It's really hard to imagine that time now without doing this, how you would have dealt with it. Because we probably all would have been in separate places, and but at least we were together. There was the three of us and Stephen Street, who's produced most of our albums, um, and it gave us something to focus on for that time. And it's only when they'd all finished and you went home and you kind of started to kind of realise what it was you've just done, and you listened to the songs and the music. You know, it definitely helped in the process. Um, it's still very early days. There's still days where you still can't believe it. But um, right now, um, I think, looking back on it, it's definitely it was the, the right move. Because we were so focused on what we were doing, we kind of put putting all our energy into that. And then Stephen would like solo Dolores' voice, maybe do some EQ or something like that, and you just hear her voice on its own with nothing else in it. It just really hit you then. The Cranberries in the end drops April 26th. For Entertainment City, I'm Melanie Yang.